Good morning. Well, it's it's Saturday morning and it's not the nicest out there. I can't see. It's just below zero, so it's you know sort of at freezing just below freezing and it's windy just you know not really nice if you're bundled up and winter person like this would be okay but it's there was just a, a sort of a, a beam of what seemed like strong sunlight coming through, but there was no yellow to it. It was still white, but it was more than had been all morning. So it's, what time is it? It's uh, 10 after 10, and... Um, white. It's very white out there. The sky's grayish white and the snow on the lawns is white and the snow on the road is white except for the, you know, tracks where there have been cars and the places where cars were parked and no snow landed. So there was a little bit of snow overnight, enough to put a thin layer of it on things but you know yeah a winter persists no spring yet but the temperature is heading towards spring so we know there's going to be some melting just because you know there is this strong sunlight behind those high clouds there's your weather forecast melting Underneath all the snow, there will be melting. Okay, so this is, at school, the, um, the week um, before student-teacher conferences, which will happen not this coming Monday, but the next. Um, it's the week after the assessment, so it's the week between... Um, the assessments and the discussion about assessments. So if you haven't finished all your assessments, finish them now, but they're due on the 25th. So they're due Tuesday. Um, I uh, had planned to start a new unit last week. This was in my lesson term plan. But um, it just, there was so much stuff still left over that I didn't want to uh, toss. So I kept on using that stuff and they really liked it. So, you know, that unit uh, has now come to a finish. So I used everything up last week. Um, the unit was closed off anyway a week ago with the unit test. And then I finished the extra stuff that I still had. So now, this week, um, I could have started the new uh, term, but I thought that might lead me into trouble, problem, trouble, problems, um, and I didn't want to mess with my next term plan. I didn't want to start using stuff from that a week ahead of time. I'd probably, you know, be just fine doing that, but whatever, let's stick to the plan. So... I am um, going to um, follow up on one of my students' requests on, um, he wanted some stuff for his job search. So I'm doing a week's worth of, sorry, a week's worth of, um, Activities such as resumes, cover letters, and interviews. Yes, 
and even via the link and thing that I have. Link classroom activities, so learning instruction for new newcomers to Canada. This is a supplied uh, lessons. So I, I had wondered how I would fit that in and I thought, oh, this is good. I don't have anything for this week, so I'll use that for this week. So there you go. That's what I'm doing. It sort of helps me out. I'll have to see how it works. I haven't looked at it for a while, so but I'm sure that will work. And there's nothing for me to scan because it's all, you know, PDFs that I just print off. I just have to create it stuff that goes around it, right? Just have to flesh out everything. So that's good. So, you know, this work avoidance that I'm doing now is entirely legitimate and allowable. <clears throat> um, excuse me, I don't care if the battery is low. I will dismiss that. Yes, so my husband and my son are off to Toronto for uh, an interview that my son has with Humber College. He wants to get into their um, program for um, making um, prosthetics. Fascinating. A guy who has always expressed an interest in psychology. Um, wanted to, you know, ask my husband a few months ago, quite a few months ago, um, you know, what he should do next. Should he go into further uh, higher education, like go into a master's program, or, you know, what should he do? And um, anyway, he's, he's going to try and use his psychology um, with uh, making prosthetics. Do you try and get into their program? Because my husband figured that that would be a good mesh, a good match. He's got the psychology. I mean, this is why you go to school to get a full education. And this is kind of a neat way of uh, looking at it. My husband is brilliant on these things. He thinks of things that I never would. Obviously, that means I'm not brilliant because I would never get into those things. But this is great. This is great. So I hope he gets in. He's going in for an interview. He's concerned because he doesn't have the immediate out of high school um, specific skills that they might want. So he might not get into it. But we'll see. We'll see. He's trying. Anyway, they have to drive all the way to Humber in Toronto. Humber College in Toronto on this lovely, windy, blustery, snowy, yucky day. Um, yeah, not the nicest of weather, but I said, you guys are both heavy enough to hold the car down on the road. <laughs> the car is somewhat tall, right? It may be small, but it's tall, and it does get buffeted around by wind. You do notice it. And it is windy. I need their own 401 going, you know, 110, 120. So they'll notice this uh, wind. Canada Post. I wanted to talk about Canada Post. Everyone puts Canada Post down. And uh, I love Canada Post. I have never had a single problem or issue with it. I ordered um, the uh, Canada Food Guide. One of my units, early units, um, involves stuff, involves the Canada Food Guide. Hi, Martin. And um, you get the Canada Food Guide free from the government. And I uh, went on to the website because I didn't have any Canada Food Guides left over um, anymore and I went onto their website and I ordered 30 Canada food guides from them and three days later here they are 
three days. It says, oh, wait two to three weeks. You know, you can expect two to three weeks for delivery. Thank you. I am impressed. The government, hand me both. Both. What? The other one I'm missing. Well, no, not really. I was impressed. Canada Post, Health Canada publication. So that's really cool. That's really cool. So that unit is ready to go when I get around to the actual charm time. Okay, it's a little chilly and I'm still avoiding work. There, there, see? That's, that's sun. That's actual sun. Mm -hmm. There is sun making it through this overcast grayness every now and then. See you later, folks. Have a great day. I'm going to try. No more work avoidance, okay? Okay. Hold me to that.